Yeah, and Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist made his stop in Flint today, and they want the number to go up. They want more people to get vaccinated, and that's why he came to Flint today to make sure to lead by example, and he got his first vaccine shot, or his second vaccine shot, rather, here in Flint as he kicks off his Making Real Change tour they're doing across the state. Take a listen. We know there's so much work to do. That's why Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist received his second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine right here in the vehicle city. This will mark the first stop of the Making Real Change tour, which will promote vaccinations throughout the state. And I see this tour as a demonstration of that effort. There are mortality rate disparities. There are just straight up health disparities. There are disparities when it comes to education and economic access. Our administration is committed to working to eradicating those disparities. And it starts with making real change right here today in the city of Flint. The Lieutenant Governor was joined by Flint Mayor Sheldon Neely and Flint ear, nose and throat doctor Bobby McCamilla, who gave him the shot. McCamilla says while demand for vaccines has been trending down, the importance of them is still a high one. We knew that we were going to get to this phase where it would require a conversation, not just pull up, roll down the window, show us your arm and we'll give you a shot. It wasn't going to be that easy forever. And now we're at the point where it needs a conversation. Gilcrest encourages everyone to sign up and get inoculated. He says that COVID-19 has hit the entire state hard, but even more so in communities with people of color. He adds that it's also important to reassure people, in particular in black communities, that the vaccines are safe and available. You can call and text and get something on the same day in communities across the state of Michigan. Accessibility is a problem that we're working to solve. And to find out where and how to get your shot, the lieutenant governor says everyone should reach out to their local health department for more information on that. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.